Hi, welcome to Don's Workshop. This is part seven of my Lego Technic Bugatti Chiron build. Last time got the front and rear connected and got some of the, like all the connection pieces put in so it's nice and solid. And uh, that finished the book one. So now we're on to book two. So let's see what that looks like. This is what they have to say here. They had uh, building the rear wing was simple. Making it actually function was much harder. So apparently it said the Chiron's rear wing automatically adapts its position and angle to minimize drag and provide both the needed downforce and braking power. Uh, attempting to recreate these functions in the Lego Technic model was a crucial part of capturing the advanced performance of the real vehicle. Well, that'll be interesting. That is not something that was in the uh, Ferrari, so. Uh, the rear bodywork and deck lid. So is that, oh, is that, oh, that's gonna pop up, I guess. In the front and the back. Okay, looks like I got everything sorted here, so let's get started. Lots of panels here. And we start with a panel. And that must be the... I'm assuming that's the panel up there. Okay. 15 beam. Nice, all these dark blue uh, beams here. Okay. Uh, and then we have three. This is three of the 11s. Is that the 11? I think that's the 11. Need three of these. And. Wait a second. Oh, there's supposed to be two on this side. Ah, I see. And then one in the middle, like that. Now. Pins. Got six pins. Okay, and now these are four of these and four of these. Axle pins into that three beam axle connection. Okay, um, that goes like that. Okay, now I two of these three beam with the four pins on them. And then put those like that. And a tank three. Okay. Wait, where do those go? I put those in first. They go right in there and there. Okay, have a wing. So I need the 22 first. And 
and then the six. That's the six. It connects there. Okay, and then the tank. Three beam with the X axle connector and the short axle pin and that goes in there and then that connects to this oh, okay so everything should go in to something here there we go I assume we do that on the other side we need a 21 And the five. That tank. And we'll put that right there. And same thing. Just pop on to all those pins. And snap in. There we go. Now uh, we got two T's. And they just face forward. Oh, now we gotta bring the car over. And that goes on the back here into there somewhere okay should just line up it's got to go on oh is that in the way there it goes okay so now that's sitting like that so that's even with the top of the engine there and we got some pins over here oh and indeed we do exactly where I pointed to. <laughs> oh, this red pin is kind of like in the way. Okay. There we go. There. Let's see if I can get that one in. Because the red pin is just there. So. It's a difficult one to get in there. Man, is that uh that is pretty there we go. And you're gonna there we go, and there that's hooked in. Okay, and then we have two other pins back here. Snap those in. Okay. There. Uh, one long blue pin. Over. So if we're faced that way, that long blue pin is on this side. In here. Okay, it was back there. Okay, let's uh, get that back on the, out of the way for now. And we'll have oh, this piece. have an L beam that goes on this part. That goes here. And then there's a another one of these. So it kind of goes the other way. Put this one part way through right there. And 
that should go seems like this. Okay. That goes on the car. Back where I put that. blue pin. Okay, so it's supposed to sit out like that. Oh, the gray pin goes on the top. And that is supposed to sit... That's supposed to sit... This is supposed to face down. That's oh, it's supposed to sit, like, right there. Um... Did something wrong, I think. I think this is supposed to fit in there. And it's supposed to go... No? That's there. And that's supposed to go, like, right there. I think that's right. Hmm. Let's take a look at that again. Oh, I put this on the wrong way. That's supposed to be the short end. Okay. This way. Okay, so that goes this way. The black pins go over here. And then that one goes there. Okay, and then the... Okay, there we go. Now maybe it'll fit. So then that is going there. Okay, there we go. And then this blue pin is supposed to slide in there. Okay. Now what? I have a brown axle. I need to... Put in right there. Okay, and then there's a seven beam, two black pins. The two black pins go back here. And the seven beam goes or it connects a bunch of pins up here. Did I get them all? Nope, missing the bottom one. There we go. Okay, that's connected. Now we have an L beam, big L. And it goes like that. Or there's two L's. One goes on the top. goes like that and then one goes on the bottom okay and that goes down here now we're on the engine side here and over here and I have two of those and two of these or three long blue pins. Three long blue pins and two of these... Two of these three beams. Where do these go? Okay. Oh, the pin... Oh, these go... Okay, I see. So, these are going in here. I have to like twist that that way. Push that in there. There, and then where's the other pin? The other pin, oh, the other is on the other side here. And we have another one of these three beams. And oh, I gotta do this twice. Get a. It goes like that. 
Okay. And those go in on the inside. There we go, like that. Okay. Now make the other one of these L beams. Make sure I put the long and short ones on the right side. And the that goes there. I believe that's supposed to go like that. Oops. Okay, and then that should do the same thing on this side goes right there, it snaps in there, same thing, we got the brown axle, it goes, goes this way, okay, and then the two black pins need to go Seven beam goes there. Okay. Uh, L beam. That hooks up in the top side. And this one goes on the bottom side again. here. So that is, okay, it's just one of these. And we have a T and I beam. And two more long blue pins. to go on there and then we have the axle one of the gray axles with a collar in the middle and it goes like that another L beam on the other side okay these kind of crankshaft pieces. Gray axle. There's a gray beam. Collar. And then another one of these with a the long yellow axle. And axle connector. Okay. Oh, and that goes through there. And now we take that, and we're doing this, and this goes through here. Like so. 
And then two of these. Okay, make sure they're facing the same way. The crank shaft pieces. Oh, this is for the wing, isn't it? Okay, this is the part that's gonna lift the wing up and down, I believe. Okay, now we have the two seven beams. Axles go in there, and these are supposed to hook on those on the outside, and these are three apart or two. There, one hole in between, and this is not going to be easy, is it? Okay, there, and just wait. No, I'm doing it the wrong. There's a face this way. Okay. There we go. That's neat. And now we have two. These. Oops. That's better. Okay. And those two. Now what? This is here. And that is supposed to hook onto there. Okay. Doesn't actually do anything right now. Oh, wait. Oh, I put this one on the wrong way. I put them both on the wrong way. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, those have to get flipped around. There we go. So yeah, I saw it's supposed to go underneath. Now what? We have this panel. And it hooks into like this, like so. Uh oh. These are hard enough by themselves to get in. I get get two of them in. Oh my. These really don't like going on to anything. Wow. That is uh, really annoying. Hmm. There's not really a good way to do this, is there? facing the right way. Oh, now this is all... Yeah, I, well, I gotta put axle connectors on here, so that stays together. There we go. That's better. And... I'm supposed to stick it like this, I guess. Or flip it around this way. I have no idea what's going on right now. Okay, it's supposed to go like this. Um, and these are up. Now this is supposed to hook to the back of a car here. So where is it hooking up here? There's two holes. Where are the two holes? Oh, there's two pins there. Okay. That goes in the two pins. 
these are supposed to be up. So is that gonna slide in? Oh, there's pins down here too. Okay. So that's really gonna. It's really supposed to go in there. There's pins there and there. Okay, let's see. I don't like. So this is like this. This is supposed to be like this. Right? And then that's gonna go in there. But did it flip it around? I'm just confused where this is sitting. That's where it's sitting there. Then we turn this up. And it's... Oh, am I supposed to put it on like... Oh, like that. Okay. That's how it's supposed to go. That makes more sense. Now, can I get those pins on? There. That is uh, quite the operation we got there. Okay, now we need a 11 beam. And we need to put that on goes on this side. It's engine side. Now, oh, there we go, got axle. The one axle goes on, goes through here. That yellow axle. At two of the big L beams, and where do they go? Okay, I see one here. I guess they are going here and here. supposed to hook into this thing. Okay, this is right. What's this side? What is it hooking into? Anything? Was there pins on this one? There's no pins. It just sticks in there. And this is sitting where? Is it sit oh it's sitting like this? Oh it's sitting like no oh, it's on the ah, it's on this side. I think it's sitting like this, right? goes into that pin goes in there okay yeah because this black pin is over here not plugged into anything okay now what now I have this five beam I 
And this goes into... It goes in like that. Make sure... Um, I tell like you make sure that's like... Like that. Right? Or is that supposed to get locked down underneath that? I think that's what I'm wondering. I think it, it must get locked down underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna lock it down underneath, I guess. But it looks like it kind of swings open here. So... That is not gonna come out again. Like, that's like stuck there now. Okay, now I gotta do the other side. Uh, same thing. And... The whole beam. Goes like that. goes on there. And then I gotta take the five beam. And plug that in. Like so. Now, these, got these pieces, using one of them anyway, Some big panels here, okay, so those go this way, there's two of them. I don't know if I'm using some of the red pins again, the long red axle pins. And those, oh, those go in here. Okay, and then a uh, three beam. I guess that's just gonna go on the other side. That hooks, oh, that hooks up to this axle here. So, and same thing, just doing the other side here. Now we're gonna be done with these three beams with the axle connector piece. Like that. And then that will go on the other side here. That axle. Okay, now we have some winglets we're putting together here. We need a 21 and a 22. Pop them together. And red axle pins. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. The little L-beam. goes in here. Like that. Same thing for the other side. And the first time I've actually just had to hook these little wings up together like this.
There we go. Okay, now these panels. Oh yeah, last time I was I had extra long blue pins and they went up here. So I figured that out, so that was good. Okay, so these are going on to these black pins and then popping down like that. Okay. And then we take long blue pins with a black one by one beam and pop those in there. It's a bit tight going through those panel connectors. Okay, more panels. Same thing. Except there's nothing to hook them up to on this side. Oops. Okay. Now we have a large piece to build here. Put the car off to the side again. And get a panel. Long blue pins. Oops. Black pin, okay. And then the 11 beams. And more black pins. And then wings, 21 and 22. Or the little winglets, and they go facing that way. Okay. Blue and red pins. And seven beams. It's really is meant to really solidify these things together. This is the kind of stuff that makes it hard to take it apart later you want ever want to take it apart later okay I have this with an axle Pin, and that just goes in the middle here okay the 15 beam like that okay and now we have another panel Two eleven beams. And uh, two black pins. Okay, and now we got these black pins. Okay, that is like that. And a 15 beam here. And then a clip into a stud pin holding a clip 
it was in the middle there, facing this way. See, I put this 15 beam on. Now there's the wrong size. Let's go on this side. So I keep turning this the wrong way. Okay, well, that's kind of spinning around there. Okay. Now we hook these together. Oh, why do it like that? And easy enough to just hook those up on the other side first. There we go. Okay. Black pins. It's Eleven black pins. We got two, four. Or eight, eight black pins, not eleven. And there's the eight. And then there's two long blue pins on those corners. Now you flip it upside down. Wait a second. Oh no, you flip it this way. Or whatever. This way. And I have these two three beams and just get these this is for a connection, I think. And get those and there's a collar on there. Or a one one by one beam. And then that goes into there. Okay. Now, let's put that on the car. So, that's gonna over the engine. Now what? So that goes up here. And this... Oh wait, I was supposed to hook those. Ah, I didn't see that. Those hook up to, they hook that together. Okay. That's a fun, tricky thing to do. Okay, there we go. That one. Fun, tricky thing to do. There we go. That's better. Now that makes more. Well, yeah, there we go. Okay. And so that's hooked up now. And this. This is out of the way. Oh, it's supposed to go into here. No, it's supposed to sit in front. It's in front like that. And just these two go in. Oh, I hooked, I hooked these up the wrong way. Didn't realize that they're to push in. There. Interesting choice on the holding to these panels. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Anyway. Now we have some T's, and the T's hold all this stuff together. Or it looks like it holds a bunch of stuff together. There we go. That's right. Okay, there they are. 
Now that's in. And we have 15 beam. One of these. Black pin into one of these by threes here. Fun to do. Man, these 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 pins with a beam on them are just the worst to put in. There we go. Oh, forgot. Gotta put that on there. Oh, that's remember that piece that I put in earlier. Popping out, that's where that's supposed to actually plug into. Okay. Okay, fun. Now how does that now is that gonna hold on there? Put some get some uh, 13 beams. Here, let's try this. That's supposed to pop on there. And then that goes there. Okay, and do the same thing on the other side. So there we go. side with the long blue pin and the seven beam okay two pins there and then that is supposed to hook up like that or how is that supposed to hook up no there's supposed to be it's supposed to hook up like that okay And then we have the 21 wing. It goes there. Axle pin and the axle connector. Red axle, and then that goes in the top here. goes on the car. Okay. Yeah, so you're, when you're picking up the car, it's definitely strong enough to pick up now. 
by this top here. Now, this is supposed to go in here. So there's a gray. So there's the T. It goes into the T. Okay, that goes into the T. And then those will stick out over there. Okay. I think that's the only piece. It's just going like that. Okay, let's make sure that's on there. Oh, I'm supposed to put this on too, I forgot. So this goes on here too. Oh, it goes on to both at the same time here. Take that off again. Go. And then that goes in there. That's just, it's gonna get snapped in somehow here. But gotta build the other one. Here, we got some space over there. exact right number of black pins. That's uh, interesting. There's usually always extra in the bag. Okay, and then put the this on here. Oh, I forgot this. This goes there. It's two ball joints. I didn't see the ball joints anywhere. <laughs> okay. And that. And that plugs in over here. Okay, I didn't see where those ball joints went, but that has been part seven of my Lego Technic Bugatti Chiron build. Uh, we got started building on the body here. So we got the rear section of the body and the, the wing, the rear wing. Oh, that fits in pretty cool. So once that functionality gets attached, that should be it. pretty neat. Anyway, look how that lines up nicely. So, if you'd like to see more, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and take it easy.